There's a lot of studies, a lot of studies in the frontline setting um, with immuno-oncology drug, usually in combination. There's one study combining nivolumab plus ipilimumab with, uh, for more immune checkpoint blockade versus uh, sunitinib also, um, considered by many as a standard uh, first line. And there are other um, uh, trials that combine a PD-L1 inhibitor like atezolizumab uh, with uh, bevacizumab, which is a vegf like an inhibitor at the phase three levels. There are also um, some uh, combination with PD-1, PD-L1 inhibitor and vegf tyrosine kinase inhibitor that are um, hitting the frontline scene. So what do we have today may not be applicable uh, tomorrow. So we'll wait to see. The question is if whatever the standard going to be uh, today, tomorrow, is it going to be the same in six months? Because the field is evolving into combinations, especially with immuno-oncology drug. We already have one drug approved as of this meeting, Nivolumab, presentation last year at the presidential session at ESMO. So we are um, combining Nivolumab with Cabozentinib, um, perhaps as a strategy uh, to overcome uh, resistance to each agent and obtain uh, synergy. Uh, so this would be you know, a major thing into the next um, uh, you know, uh, phase.